Hi, I'm Graham Blackburn, and this is Traditional Woodworking by Hand. And today's episode is all about making sure the workpiece is flat. Typically, one of the first jobs to do when you're beginning a project is to make sure that the stock that you're going to use, the pieces that are going to comprise the finished piece, are flat. Now, I know a lot of woodworking ends up being curved and shaped, but typically most wood starts out being flat and it's up to you to put the curve in it. So the important thing is, how do you know that it's flat? And if it isn't, how do you make it flat? Well, if you have a big, expensive, noisy workshop full of expensive jointers and planers and thickness thicknesses and whatnot, and you've, you've, you've spent thousands of dollars and you've got all this stuff happening, that's one way of doing it. But if you want to do it quietly, safely, the traditional way, without spending so much money, there are ways to do it by hand. And today we're going to talk about two ways of doing it. One fairly traditional and one fairly modern. The first thing we're going to be talking about is something that very few people today have heard about, winding sticks. Now, typically, winding sticks, which have been used for hundreds of years, were made on the spur of the moment by the woodworker or the furniture maker who needed it. Uh, but some of them, some of them, especially in large shops where there were more than one, one worker or two, would get numbered and they'd get stamped with the owner's name. And if they happened to last for a long time, they'd develop a nice patina and occasionally they show up in flea markets and auctions for large amounts of money, which would have made the original makers and owners laugh their heads off. Because all you really need are two pieces of wood and ideally it should be a wood that is fairly stable the, this pair here are made out of oak and and they're, they're nice and straight you can see that they're perfectly flat here and they're perfectly flat here and one is called the gaffer that's the stick that's in charge and the other one that tells you whether or not your wood is flat very often has a white line or something painted along the top. And also another very typical um, characteristic of winding, old winding sticks is that they tend to taper from the top. So you make yourself a pair of winding sticks. They can be this length, they can be shorter, they can be wider, whatever. But the trick is that they must both be perfectly flat. And the way that they're used is really pretty simple. You put one stick at the end of the board, and then you put the gaffer, typically called the gaffer, that's the old English word for the bus, at the other end. And providing you keep them parallel, if you now sight down across the top of the gaffer, you should be able to see if the board is in fact perfectly flat you should be able to see that the top edge of the gaffer matches the top edge of the far stick perfectly. If what you see instead is that they're not parallel, then that's going to tell you where the board is in winding. That's one of the deformations that wood can get. Wood can cup, it can bow, it can twist, it can propeller, but it can also, if one end is not as flat as the other end, then that's known as being in winding stick, in, in winding. And that's why these are called winding sticks. So we looked at this board here, and from this end to that end, it looked pretty good. But if I move this up a little bit, and then take another look, I'm going to see that it's no longer quite so parallel, which means that this side here, because I can see more of this far stick than I can see on this side, this is a little high. So all I have to do 
is to take my smooth plane or any other convenient plane and remove a little wood here. Doesn't have to be much. And then if I put the gaffer back again and do the same sighting, ah, look at that. Now I've made them perfectly parallel. I can do that, or I should do that, all the way down the board that I want to make sure. So that whenever it's not perfectly parallel, that will tell me which spot I have to plane to make it perfectly flat. There's a slightly more expensive and more contemporary way of doing that, and that involves using a machinist's straight edge. Now, this looks very simple but it's a very expensive tool because it's extremely accurate. So accurate that it's sensitive to being picked up the wrong way, to being stored in the wrong temperature. I have a very special place in my box, in my, my main tool chest, where I keep it in here so that it's always perfectly protected. This is how it goes in and out. It sits in here, and I turn the little turn screw, and this protects us. Because this expensive piece of hardware, and you can buy this in any good tool shop or any good hardware store, because this is so accurate, you can use this to see whether the wood is flat. And one way of doing it is to put it down in the direction that you want to see that's flat, and then look underneath, and if you can see light, then you can see that, ah, this may be lower than here. So I need to take more wood off here and more wood off here. Carefully putting that down, I can now plane the end of this. And I can plane this end here. And now, picking this up, I should be able to put this back down and see that, that now there is far less light. But if I can still see light, then I still know that this needs to be reduced and this needs to be reduced. I can also use this at different angles. So the purpose of whether you make your own winding sticks for free or whether you go buy a really expensive machinist straight edge is to be able to tell whether your workpiece is perfectly flat. Only then are you going to be in a position to be able to start laying out the joinery that you may want to do with any kind of exactness. If you like that, if you want to read more about it, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and maybe look at one of the several books that I've written, this particular book has an entire chapter on winding sticks and machinist straight edge. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And remember, flatness is at the heart of perfection. Thanks.